Is it time to put up or shut up? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. Again, thank you. Thank you to the new members. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to everyone who comments and is part of this team and the family. I really, really appreciate it. It's humbling. And I try to reply to all the comments and I really appreciate your view and everything you guys do. So thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be. It's free. So just click the button, become part of the team. I know you're seeing the thumbnail. The thumbnail is not, even though it is Randy, this video is not about Randy, though he'll fall in line with what I'm going to say. Is it time for people to put up or shut up? We've had so many anglers in this last couple years that have talked about forward-facing sonar and their dislike for it, that now we have MPFL who's completely banned it. I think those professional anglers should be joining those league and showing the support for what those, that those organizations have done. It's great to get on here and to talk about it and to show your, your disdain for the technology. But if you're a professional angler and you're not going and joining those leagues, I don't think you should be talking about forward-facing sonar anymore. And I'm saying this about all of professional anglers. This is an opportunity to show and to put your foot down and to draw a line in the sand and say, I'm going to commit to these organizations that are doing what I think is right. But if you're just going to talk about all the problems that you have with forward-facing sonar and then not really do anything but just talk, then you're just talking. And you need to walk. You need to walk the walk. I think the problem that a lot of people and fans have is that there's a lot of people that constantly talk about how this is all the drama. And you have to remember, it isn't really drama unless someone else starts it. People who do YouTube channels and comment and give their opinion about a certain situation didn't start that topic. So... You kind of got to get over the, the drama situation. We're here to discuss what we see, not to cause more drama, but to give our opinion and to talk about what may maybe be the possible situations or the, the better way of handling things. And in the case of forward-facing sonar, we've had hundreds and thousands of people make hundreds of thousands of dollars to talk about forward-facing sonar and then never join a league that is banning it or an organization or a one tournament deal where there's no forward-facing sonar. It's one thing to talk about it, but you got to walk the line too. And I think these rookie anglers, these young anglers that are forward-facing sonar based anglers or dominant anglers, I think this is also a good opportunity for you guys to not only say, I'm done with this. Not that you're done with forward-facing sonar, but I can catch fish the traditional way. And you should be trying to get your foot in that door. Join those one-day tournaments like the TEA or try to join the NPFL. There's a lot of money you can make, but it also shows what kind of angler you truly are. And if you just want to be known as a scoper, there's nothing wrong with that. But the respect you'll get, even if you don't win, by going into a tournament that bans forward-facing sonar or has restrictions for forward-facing sonar, is only going to improve your brand as a professional angler. And I think there's something to be said for stuff like that. And my last kind of sort of comment is, is anglers who are now leaving the NPFL because of the ban of forward-facing sonar, shame on you. Because obviously you're either scared that you won't be able to do as well, or you're just saying, I'm only a scoper. I don't want anything else. There is a possibility down the line as we start to hear more things about conservation and how this technology hurts, could hurt conservation. That this is full-time banned, probably not because of money, but there's always a possibility. They're always going to look for changes. But if you're on the NPFL and now saying, I'm not joining because they banned forward-facing sonar, shame on you. Because quite honestly, if you don't make it on the NPFL, you're not going to make it into the elites. There's a, very, there's a handful of anglers that can go through the open process and build up and have the consistently consistency to get into elites. And don't even get me started with the invitationals because you only have five anglers that are going to go from invitationals into the BPT. Getting into the top level places is not easy. 
NPFL might not be a top level, but they do select the anglers that are allowed in. And there'll be a lot of anglers that want to join the NPFL that don't get invited. And they have to look at it and say, can I succeed at the other places? Should I go to the BFLs? Should I go to the Toyota Series? Should I go to the Invitationals? You have to remember when you start getting into those other organizations and those other tournament organizations, that the, ter the anglers that are in those tournaments are ridiculously good but there should be no excuses if you're in a league and out of nowhere they ban technology or they change the technology and you decide to leave I don't I don't think you should do that and I don't know if you'll be more successful at those other areas and I hope you are but it kind of shows where you're at and right now fans want to see anglers catching fish the traditional way there's probably, I probably get more comments about how people dislike forward-facing sonar than I do with anything that I've done. You can disagree with me on my opinion, and I respect it because everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but the forward-facing sonar debate is heated all the way through. And I think that those anglers that constantly talk about how forward-facing sonar is hurting the industry. I think you need to get up and off your ass and into one of those other leagues and show us that you can catch fish without it. Stop talking about it and do it. Get out there, join the MPFL or try to join the MPFL. Try to do the TAA. Try to do whatever it is to boost your brand. Stop talking and do it. I don't like forward-facing sonar, but I'm not a professional angler. So, that's what I got. Is it time to put up or shut up? Tell me below in the comments. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I'm humbled by it all. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers. Thank you. And tight lines.